So what is up guys, Thrashing Chris here bringing another CD update. Um, so I have a couple CDs to show off here. Um, so uh, as you guys know, uh, or if you don't know, Nuclear Blast and I believe Earache and maybe Century Media have started their Black Friday sales. Um, already uh, kind of went a little crazy on Nuclear Blast. They had a lot of stuff and I was like, wait. And uh, so my next CD update video after this will be a Black Friday special one. Basically where it means I just spent all my money on stuff and a set of bills. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into the CD update. And uh, the very first one, this is a grail. I've been trying to find this album um, for a while and, uh, you know, finally found it. I went to a couple of record stores and uh, that's kind of close by to where I live um, and uh, went into this one and I already found one thing that I always wanted and it was like, whoa, this is great. And then I look off to like, it's just like sitting here like behind, like kind of hidden between two other CDs and I was like, man, that album art looks familiar. And there it was, and it's Nile, Black Seeds of Vengeance. Um, <laughs> one of the, probably one of the best uh, Nile records, if not the best. Um, it's Nile, man. This is just super fast death metal. Um, it, you know, I, I love Nile. Like, you know, Nile's like one of my favorite death metal bands of all time. And like, being able to finally get Black Seeds of Vengeance is just, even that much more of a plus for me, um, you know, I, and when I bought it, I was with my girlfriend, I put it in the car, and she got to witness now for the first time right there, and, uh, you know, she didn't like it, but that's okay, um, I did, I enjoyed every minute of the car ride with her as it went through the whole entire album, love this, love this album, so glad I finally found it in a record store, which, you know, there's something about finding, like, the grails that you've been looking for in a record store, um, instead of browsing like on eBay and Amazon, like if you find out a record store, you're just like, oh my gosh! And you know, to me, it just is it it just makes it that much more special. So the next one, I kind of got this Pink Floyd The Wall. It's like a two disc box thingy. I got this at the record store that was directly next to the other record store. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, uh, you know, usually I see this at some record stores for like ten, twelve. Um, in the used section, so I never picked it up. But the one I went to literally was selling it for like five bucks, and I was like, Well, it comes with both CDs, and it's nice, you know, pink for the wall, you know, get some classic rock in there. So, there's that. So, the next CD, uh, this is a classic album, and it's actually the first album I bought. That, uh, actually, this is the first album I have now for this band. Um, they're part of the big four, and that is Anthrax persistence of time i uh found this also in the same record store as i found this one um and i was really actually surprised to find this in the record store because um uh the, the first one i went to which is where i found this uh album anthrax persistence of the time i was you know i wasn't finding anything a lot of it was just very um a lot of stuff i was finding just wasn't good stuff it was very uh you know, they didn't really have much of a rock and metal scene. Like, when they when they had rock, they had, like, the 60s, 70s type rock. They didn't really have much um, there. I mean, for metal, you had, like, your Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets and Black Album. Uh, that's what you basically had for for uh, records. But then he had, like, this used section for CDs and uh, found this gem in there, Anthrax Persistence of Time. I believe this is the original. Uh, one thing on here says that it's remasters on the Mega Force label, so I'm going to assume this is the original as well, which is really, really nice. So next up, one on the list, showed this band off in the last video, uh, but I picked up another one of their albums because, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into them, I'm loving every record so far, and that is Resurrection Through Carnage by Bloodbath. Once again, uh, just... It's death metal, man. This is like what I want when I listen to death metal. I just want that pure, just, you know. And Michael Ackerfeld, man, like like I said, his growls just do wonders for it as well. Um, really solid album. Uh, I I think this is, um, 
I don't think it's better than the, the first one I showed off, but um, it's definitely, you know, up there for sure. Really, really, really just brutal death metal all the way through. Next album I'm showing off, this is a grail, and I remember what got me to listen to this album. Um, it was actually... Uh, one, it was actually in one of Mark's first ever videos on YouTube. He showed this band off, and um, you know the album art got my attention. I was like, you know, I'm gonna listen to this album, listen to it on Spotify, and I was just like, wow, this is a amazing album. Went ahead and been trying to look for it, but it's like such a rare album to find. Um, but I ended up finding uh, ended up finding it on eBay, and it's Evil Dead: Annihilation of Civilization. And I'm just going to go out and say it. Uh, this is probably one of the best thrash metal albums of all time. Um, you know, from from the very from the very beginning, you know, to the very end. This is an album that is it's thrash. Um, me and my friend both agree that this is uh, this comes from the golden era of metal, especially when it comes to thrash. And uh, yeah, just all around amazing amazing record and this is another grail that i've been searching for and finally got it and here's the thing like they sell this album on ebay there's a lot but it's expensive i got this for like seven bucks so i was like yeah that's a steal um it is the remastered it isn't the original but it's still annihilation of civilization and i'm glad to have it now in my collection and i'm just I'm just blown away by it. like uh just when i pulled it out of the package i was like ooh finally to finally feel it and stuff it's a little dirty though um has like some like this like icky stuff on here um but you know i could easily clean that off so no biggie and then another grail and i found this in the second record store i went to um and i was just so shocked to see it there because um i never ever ever like you know, i've been to a, couple, a lot of record stores now and they never have I never see anything from this band in record stores. And if I do, it's like the way newer stuff and, and, and uh, you know, stuff that, you know, it's okay, but I don't really want to buy it. But uh, I found this in the record store and, and I was like, I have to have it. Um, and that is Halloween Keeper of the Seven Keys, Keeper of the Seven Keys, part two. Um, <laughs> this album, man, like this is, probably one of the finest power metal albums of all time um this is a remaster version um but you know it's still halloween keeper of the seven keys part two amazing amazing record um it is a here's the inside of it right here pretty neat as the vinyl almost just flies right out of it as you can tell it is a black vinyl almost just flew right out <laughs> but here it is this is it's inside and then here's the back of it and um i remember i was like holding this record and the guy at the record store was like yo man uh you like that record i'm like yeah i'm like this is you know one of the best power metal albums of all time he's like he just does this and he's like i have the record on me like he has like the original it was like a limited edition one as well puts that right on his uh on his uh on his turntable he's like you know what i think i know how i can sell it to you he starts playing it and i was just like listening to uh listening to it in the record store and i was like yeah i need to have this album it's, it may not be the original but it's still halloween it's still like i said keeper of the seven keys and um he also has part one in the record store so hopefully um i can get over there sometime soon to pick up part one because that's also a great record but um yeah so that is it for my uh, metal CD update. Um, but like I said, I will be back very soon with another one. Um, it's gonna be a Black Friday special. I'm already on earache scrolling through, trying to find stuff. Um, so far I have five CDs purchased, um, but there's gonna be more than that. And plus I need to find some more vinyl. Uh, I'm just really like trying to build up this vinyl collection. Um, I also checked my YouTube channel um, in about the beginning of January will mark one year since I made my first video in the uh, metal community, uh, music collecting, vinyl collecting community. And um, 
thinking about doing something special where I just kind of like show like how much my collection has grown since I first started, um, especially when it comes to vinyls. Like uh, it has grown um, since, you know, I first made my first other video. But yep, yeah, thank you guys. Once again, you know, I love reading the comments and responding to you guys. And um, I'll see you all in my next video. And uh, uh, I probably won't see you guys. At, I probably won't make a video before Thanksgiving. So also, happy Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of turkey. Um, my girlfriend invited me over. So bacon wrapped turkey. You know, sign me up. So all right, guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Keep it heavy. Keep it thrash. And uh, I am out.